speeches. For what purpose does the distinguished majority leader rise? The gentleman is recognized for one minute. I thank you, uh, Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our capital city is mourning the death of one of its leading citizens, a man I was proud to call my friend, Abe Pullman. Our thoughts and sympathy are with his wife, Irene, and his sons, Robert and Jim. Abe Pullman's business skill, his philanthropy, and his civic spirit changed Washington, D.C. for the better. And indeed, his legacy extends far beyond this city. It is a legacy that will long outlive Abe Pullman himself but I rise today to honor the man behind it. Abe was the son of a Russian immigrant who came to this country speaking no English, and he rose to become one of this city's most successful developers. He was a boy whose fondest memories were of paying 25 cents to sit in the bleachers at Washington Senators games. And we, even when he had bought, uh, uh, brought basketball and hockey teams to Washington, he kept his childhood passion for sports. The same work ethic that sent him to local railroad yards at four in the morning to buy supplies for his father's contracting business helped make him a fortune, building housing for thousands. For some, that would have been enough, but for Abe, it was only the beginning. Like his father, Morris, whose generosity earned him the nickname Charity in the Washington Jewish community, Abe Poland has a proud place in the great American and Jewish traditions of philanthropy. There are thousands and thousands who owe him thanks, whether or not they knew him firsthand. They are sons and daughters of 9-11 victims whose education Abe helped pay for. D.C. families who live in affordable housing that Abe built. Speaking in 1997 of the arena that was the centerpiece of Washington's downtown rebirth, Abe said this, I walk through that building and I get tears in my eyes. I've got everything I've ever done in my life on the line. It was his money that paid to build that arena. My advisors think, it, think I'm nuts, but I wanted to do something special for my town. Indeed, Abe Poland's life was something special for this town, for sports, not only in this town, but in America, and for his country. I yield back the balance of my time. For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas rise? The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, as part of 